In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the new cladding user interface. You can activate the cladding command by using cladding button under modeling tab page. Cladding can be inserted on purlins or girts. Let's start with girts. After selecting the girt, cladding with predefined size will be shown. You can change the geometry by using corner points. For the current model, top left point of the girt will be brought down by 50 cm. All load cases needed to be defined before assigning on the cladding members. Let's assign wind load with WX load case. While assigning loads on the member, you can either use local and global coordinates. Direction 1, 2, and 3 are referring to red, green and blue, respectively. First set the load properties such as direction, magnitude etc. You can either assign loads on each panel individually, or you can use region and group options. You can visualize assigned loads for all panels or selected panels. Also you can hide the loads with none option. Now, Let's continue with the purlins. Similar to claddings for girts, you can set the cantilever extensions at geometry. There is a display option for local coordinates of panels of the cladding. In this case, Claddings with different dead loads will be assigned to separate cladding regions. If region is used for load assignment, all panels under selected region will be assigned with specified load. Once you define the load for a cladding, you can use the load definitions for other claddings as well. Additionally, roof live load is defined and assigned on cladding. K103. Before moving to building analysis, I will show you one more feature of claddings. First, close the cladding layer from display options. After assigning loads on cladding, the loads will be distributed to Perlin's girts as line loads by tributary areas. We assigned wind load to K101 cladding. As you can see, wind load is distributed on G106 girt. And all information such as load value, cladding label etc. are listed. Similarly, you may see the distributed loads on Perlin's. Let's perform the building analysis and see the effects of distributed loads from claddings to purlins.
Since QR loads are only assigned to K103 cladding, effect of this load case is more significant on that part. You can see the effect of assigned dead load case on the purlins. By activating frame loads and frame load labels buttons under the members tab page, you can see the tributary area distribution of cladding loads on the purlin frames. Thank you for watching, and please do not forget to subscribe to Proto Software YouTube channel to hear about our latest tutorials and videos.